If you want a package of 15 to 20 LPA as a Power BI developer consultant, then following video is for you. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the Power BI interview questions which will be asked in 2026. Okay, so respected students, welcome back everyone. So from my personal 125 plus interviews which I have taken in real time industry, okay, for the clients. So from that I am I have found like 10 plus questions which are very important 100% asked in the interview. So that I am going to tell you today. Okay. So the likes 300 percent 300 likes we are aiming. So if I will get 300 likes also in this video, definitely I will come with part two and proper answers also for this video. So let's start with the video. So the first question which is 100% asked is the difference between import mode, direct query and live connection. So the reason why this question is asked because see it is a connectivity mode like when we are connecting data from SQL, Snowflake, Azure Databricks, whatever it is. So on the basis of data volume, we have to decide whether it is import mode or direct query. To check this, always a panelist will ask you question of import mode, direct query and live connection. Okay. So the second question which will be asked definitely is about the time intelligence DAX function. So you know that there are multiple time intelligence DAX functions. Okay, MTD, QTD, YTD is there, same period last year, parallel period. Even this question is also asked difference between like same period last year, parallel period. So related to time intelligence functions, even whether Power BI report is of finance, insurance, medical domain, whatever it is, on basis of the KPI is 50, more than 50% uh, KPIs are on basis of time intelligence tax function. So definitely this question will be asked for time intelligence tax function. So the third question is of like modeling which was asked to one of our subscriber uh, in TCS interview was about what is the difference between many to many relationship. Okay, so in data modeling we all know that if two foreign keys are there then many to many relationship will occur which is not good for Power BI or data analytics project. It can give incorrect values and all, all uh, inaccurate numbers will be there. So in that case to check your understanding about how to handle many to many relationship this question uh, is asked. So see the following questions uh, are like which I have asked and also many of our subscribers who have given interview in Accenture, IBM or even product based companies like uh, Amazon and all those things. So that questions are also there. So the fourth question which uh, is about the performance after optimization of a Power BI report. Okay. So performance optimization like whenever you will give report to the client and when he will open on Google Chrome, Mozilla, whatever browser he is using. So in how many seconds the report is loading, it should be the best practices less than 10 seconds, not more than 10 seconds. Okay. So for that, whatever your PBX file size is there, it should be very low, very low so that performance wise that report will be loaded as early as faster, the visuals will be loaded faster. So what are the 10-15 uh, things we do to handle the performance optimization or reduce the size of the report. So this question is definitely asked. So the fifth question is of like, what are the multiple reasons? This is the best scenario based question, which I ask in interview. What are the multiple reasons why schedule refresh gates fail? Okay. You all know that if column name is changed, gateway issues are there, connection issues are there. If huge data has came, like huge means very big data after Diwali in e-commerce, uh, these things happen. So in that case, uh, schedule refresh gates fail. If you really want to understand if a candidate is having very good knowledge, admin knowledge about backend Power BI service, then this question is asked why schedule refresh is failed. Sixth question is about the RLS workflow, like which DAX is used in RLS, how to set up the RLS, how to check and why RLS is used. Most important thing, if banking domain, finance domain is there, definitely mark my words, RLS will be there in the report. Okay, on basis of region, officer name, and like company name, whatever it is from my personal experience, I'm telling. So how to set up user access management sheet that you have to tell in this. Uh, okay. So see seventh, eight, nine question, which are there. These are for the freshers, especially. So the following questions are like, what is the difference between calculate column and major? Okay. Append and merge and sum and sum X difference between that sum and sum X. So these questions, which are there three questions, which I've told. This is to check how much knowledge, basic knowledge or whether the base of Power BI uh, he is having the proper knowledge about that. If you are having, if you are having understanding about calculate column and major, you can directly tell three points like calculate column will affect the schema, but major will not affect. Okay. So this you have to tell. Some, some X, some X is row context. Some is filter column text on one 
कॉलम ओनली ओके अपेंड मर्ज ऑल्सो प्रॉपरली हैव टू टेल दैट अपेंड विल बी ऑन मल्टीपल टेबल्स लाइक इट विल बी कंबाइंड बट मर्ज विल बी ऑन सिंगल की वेयर टू टेबल्स आर मर्ज एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल रिजल्ट विल बी देयर इन केस ऑफ अपेंड वर्टिकल रिजल्ट विल बी देयर लाइक दिस यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन ओके एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक हाउ टू शेयर रिपोर्ट टू द क्लाइंट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट question for a candidate having two plus years of experience how to share the report with client so it can be embedded link via power bi service app also pdf powerpoint many published to web many options are there okay so these are the answers which are expect but if i will get 300 plus, uh, 300 like in this video then definitely i will make a detail answer and even part 2 also i will make for the video where more 10 questions i will uh, tell you which are asked in the interview okay and please make sure you are understanding this question memorizing this question and whenever you are going to the interview make sure that these all 10 questions you will not definitely they will ask you in the first technical round okay so thanks for watching till end and if you are having any doubt make sure you to comment below i will reply within one hour thank you for watching till end